Hello friends this is Cat Guruji channel and this is the tutorial for Cat Dia V5 Beginners 2. In this tutorial I am going to show you how to make parts of flange coupling and how to assemble it. Please find the link of dimensions of flange coupling in the description below and also subscribe this channel to watch more videos to learn Cat Dia V5. Let's start. First I will start with flange sketch, check link in description for dimensions. To open part design workbench click on start, mechanical design, part design. This is part design workbench. Select plane and click on sketch command. Now sketch as in video. I will use shaft command so I am going to sketch only half portion. After making sketch, save it. Click on shaft command, select axis and angle of shaft. Click OK. Now to make hole, use hole command. Click on hole command, click on surface where you want hole. This will open hole definition window. Then click on sketch icon in this window. Draw position the point at corresponding location. After this save sketch, give diameter of hole and click on OK. Hole is done. Now to make remaining holes, click on hole feature we created, then, click on circular command. This will open circular pattern definition window. Select parameter, complete crown. Instances 6, for reference element select axis of rotation. Click on OK. This will make pattern on hole. Flange is done save this part by clicking on file, save or, you can click ctrl plus s to save part. Make folder rename it as flange coupling. Save this part in that folder. Make sure you save all part in same folder. Next part is bolt. Open new part design workbench. Start with sketch. Select top plane and click on sketch icon. Click on hexagon in profile bar. Draw hexagon. Give dimension. Save part. Now select sketch, click on pad command give pad dimension 15 millimeters. Now, select bottom plane and, click on sketch, draw circle of diameter 20 millimeters, save. Pad it 90 millimeters and. Now I will make groove. Select side plane, and click on sketch. Then draw as I shown in video.
Save sketch. Now use Groove command for that, click on sketch, then, click on Groove command. Select axis, then, angle of groove as 360 degree. OK. Bolt is done. Save this part in same folder. Next part is nut. Open new part design workbench. Start with sketch. Select top plane and click on sketch icon. Click on hexagon in profile bar. Draw hexagon give dimension. And draw circle of diameter 20 mm save sketch. Now select sketch, click on pad command give pad dimension 10 mm. I will mirror other half that's why I give pad value 10 mm. Now I will make groove. Select side plane, and click on sketch. Then draw as I shown in video. Save sketch. Now use groove command for that, click on sketch, then, click on groove command. Select axis, then, click on OK. Now, select part and click on mirror command select top plane it will mirror other half nut. And, nut is done. Save this part in same folder. You can change color of part by clicking on part body, properties, graphics. Then select color, click on apply the OK and you are done. All parts are done. Now, I will start assembly. To open assembly workbench, click on start, mechanical design, assembly design. This is assembly workbench. First I will change name of project by right clicking on product, properties, product tab, rename it to flange coupling. Apply, OK. Now to insert part, click on flange coupling name on top of tree and then click on insert part command in product structure tools tab. Now locate flange part and select that part and, click on open. After inserting flange part fix it by using fix command for that, click on fix command, then select part. This will fix part. Now, insert flange again. You can move part by using move command in manipulation tab. Constrain this part by using coincident command. To use this command, select command, move mouse on circular surface you will see dotted line. This is axis of this circle, click. Again same for select another axis, click on update command, or, you can update by clicking control plus U on keyboard. Again use constrain command and constrain hole as shown. Now use contact command, to make contact of two surfaces. To use contact constrain click on contact command, click on surface which we want to make contact. Again update. Check degree of freedom by right clicking on part in tree, flange coupling objects, components degree of freedom. Now, insert bolt. Move bolt, use coincident command. Coincide bolt with hole which we first created in flange part.
Start. Use Contact Command to make contact of flange and bolt surfaces. Constrain angular movement of bolt by using Angle Command. Select Angle Command. Select Plane of Fixed Flange, and Plane of Bolt Give Angle, OK. This will restrict all movements of bolt. Now, use Reuse Command to assemble all bolts together. For that, click on Reuse Command, click on Bolt, then, click on Circular Pattern in Flange Part. Apply, OK. Do same for nut. To hide planes click on Edit tab, Search, in Type tab, type Plane, then click on Search and select, OK. Right click on Plane, Hide. Assembly is done save assembly in same folder. If you like this video, please hit like, and subscribe Katguruji channel, to watch videos like this and learn Katya v5, don't forget to click on bell icon to get notifications.